What is up, YouTube knife community? Back again. Today we're gonna go over some mods real quick. Uh, just wrapped up a, a small batch and gonna show them off so I can ship them out. Um, first up, we're gonna start out with this uh, little Kershaw, and this is one of the launch series. Uh, can't remember which one it is. This is from my buddy Chris Gonzalez. Um, it was the it had the orange handle. I, I wish I could remember which one it was. Uh, don't say on the blade or anything. Let me look on the other side. Uh, there's the part number right there. But um, anyway, the only thing we did to this was it'll focus. Come on. Ble bead blasted the uh, handles, the aluminum handles. And to me, it looks like brand new titanium, maybe a little bit lighter than that. And we'll go over the differences right here in just a second. But there you see that is tight or. Uh, aluminum that's been bead blasted next up we'll go over a couple stainless steel knives that's been bead blasted as well first up this is the right p801 and 14c this one has been acid washed bronzed hardware bead blasted the stainless frame as you can see there it's bead blasted left the uh thumb stud blue the pivot collar blue and that pop of blue on the clip. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, I like the way it came out. This is from my buddy Roy. Uh, I've done several jobs for him already. I put him a mirror edge on there as you can see. Uh, I think it looks good like this. Uh, and there is a comparison of stainless versus aluminum that's been blasted. As you can see right there. Uh, next up, another stainless knife. This is the Sog Aegis, I guess is how you pronounce it. But this one has been acid washed, bead blasted. I left the uh, the hardware black on this one. I thought it looked good together. Hopefully he likes it too. I did replace the thumb stud. This is a Rat 1 thumb stud. Uh, the other one was like a press fit stud. But uh, it wasn't press fit to the blade. It was press fit inside itself. It just like, like they stuck one half on one side and one half on the other and they pressed it together. And the fitting was like in the center of the stud so when i took it out it uh didn't want to go back right so luckily i've got tons of extra studs laying around so i put a black uh rat one stud in it i think it came out good uh other than that pretty straightforward just bead blasted stainless uh frame and an acid wash blade as you can see so there's another uh stainless frame that you can see that's been bead blasted next up we'll go over this one this is a titanium knife that's been bead blasted this is from my buddy daniel um bead blasted come on focus bead blasted titanium bronze the uh hardware and the clip and all that good stuff i mean there's quite a bit of difference in the titanium and when you when you look at it in contrast to the stainless and the aluminum it gives you a good shot right there what it all looks like uh so the titanium is just a little bit darker than everything else but i think it all still looks good and once you handle these knives right here the aluminum and the stainless and get your skin oils in there uh yeah they'll they'll darken up quite a bit because if you can see right here around this pivot a little bit of the kpl has leaked up onto that around the pivot and it's already darker as you can see there before long the whole knife will look like that as you handle it but uh i think they look great they it adds like this knife right here i've got one identical to it it adds so much traction to this this knife feels like I, it just feels like way way more uh expensive than it is especially now uh with the bead blast i just like it so much better so i think he'll enjoy uh roy will enjoy his p801 now all right, next up, we're going to go over a couple pair of threes. And uh, this one is a standard S30V. Uh, black skinny scales, as you can see. I skinny the scales on this one. Uh, come on, man, focus. But as you can see there, chamfered the corners of the scales. All the hardware is bronze. This is an MXG deep carry clip. Bronze dip. Uh, acid wash the liners, the blade, as you can see came out very good mirror edge looks great very smooth action good detent on this one uh just everything about this one is super nice really enjoy it uh very nice knife so there's a pair of three 
and here's another one this one is wearing a uh, fireside uh fireside co scales fireside company scales and it's that tear tough stuff i think uh it does come with a chamfer didn't do anything to these so that's how they come from fireside acid washed the blade acid washed the liners bronzed all the hardware as you can see really dig the way this one came out again this one came out super smooth good crisp detent everything about it spot on i think uh daniel these two are for daniel and this one's for daniel i think he'll enjoy all three next up kind of the star of the show for today i guess this is a uh A Riot Iron, and this one is for uh, Joe Frazier, the Knife Whisperer on Instagram. Um, I'm going to turn this one light off real quick. Every time I try to show off this Anno, I have a hell of a time. But uh, this ain't going to show up no better, I don't think. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Starts out like a real uh, light blue and goes into bronze. This is a little inlay that's inside the carbon fiber. It goes back to purple and bronze back here at the back end. And then I did the uh, the back spacer. Let's see if that light helps. I don't know. It's just hard to show off. There's good pictures and videos on my Instagram feed if you want to check it out. Uh, there you can get a, you can see this the lightning strikes going through it. And then here's the clip. So hard to show us off, but there's the clip. Uh, I cut this opening hole in it and at first like when you first start trying it's kind of hard to do but then you figure out where your finger needs to be and it's not that hard see it's already gotten easier for me there we go so after you do it for a few minutes you get the hang of it but the hole works great after you get used to it uh flipper works excellent and you can thumb deploy this you just got to keep your finger out of the way of the flipper tab as you can see here if you're choked up on it like this well usually it still comes out but you do hit your finger but yeah so added the opening hole acid wash the blade mirror edge as you can see as you can see there didn't do uh much else to it bronze the hardware polished and bronze the hardware as you can see the hardware is titanium on this knife very nice knife uh smooth action good solid detent on it uh yeah, everything about it is nice. I really like this knife. I know Joe will dig it once he gets it in hand. Um, and Joe, if you're watching this, if this uh, titanium like smudges or it's looking like kind of dull or anything, all you got to do is take some uh, the standard Windex, spray it on a, a paper towel, and just wipe it a couple times. It'll look like brand new. Once your uh, finger oils get on it, it'll kind of dull out a little bit, but it's easy to fix. So, uh, yeah that's it man uh that's it for this video um hopefully uh you saw something here that you liked uh hopefully everybody that has a knife laying on the table enjoyed the video and enjoys their knives when they get them back uh yeah guys that's all i've got if you want to hit me up for mods this is how you get in touch with me uh instagram at bj.hill.7 or there's my email address hit me up anytime um sharpening services bead blasting the whole nine i do about anything except for regrinds and i will fix that sooner or later but that's it guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you on the next one